Destination Freedom. Destination Freedom. Dramatizations of the great democratic heritage of the Negro people. Brought to you by Station WMAQ as a part of the pageant of history and of America's own Destination Freedom. This week we tell the story of Jackie Robinson, famous star player of the Brooklyn Dodgers, in a chapter entitled The Rhyme of the Ancient Dodger. Through the neon jungles of Brooklyn, New York, walks Sammy the Femi, an ancient Dodger, a man Brooklyn's barbers believe is dead. But of his glittering eye, baseball fans live in dread. He stalks the streets like a graveyard ghost. Hands outstretched like he's looking for a quarter. Inspecting the citizens from maids to the mayor till he spies a dame who's missed a game. And with his hairy mitt, he grabs her collar. Then this earth-shattering question, he starts to holler. Say, babe, did you see them bums play today, did you? No, I ain't seen no game, Papa. Uncollar me or I'll cuff you. You mean you missed the Dodgers game today? Didn't I say so? Did your mother die? Did you have a stroke? Or was you just flat broke? Nita. I was getting married to Timothy Rogers. You mean you're gone and divorced the Dodgers? So what? Who in the devil are you to butter? Babe, I'm Sammy the Whammy. Well, scram me, Sammy. Babe, I'm from the Un-Brooklyn Activities Committee. For being so disloyal, I could have you burled in Earl. Oh, if, if I had a known, I'd have been there. Don't call me, please. Give me ear. The ancient Dodger dropped his hand but pinned on her his whammy eye, whose power made her pulses slow, made traffic stop, made night turn day, and the babe had to hear what Sammy had to say. You mean, woman, you didn't hear what the Dodgers did today? I, I ain't heard nothing, but, but I won't miss a game no more. Why did you pick out poor me? I pass my days from game to game. I got a strange power of speech. Whenever a square's face I see, I know that's the square that's booked to hear me. Now, babe, be still, and my tale I'll teach you. Free, without a pence, without a single fee. Go ahead, old man, but a suspense will kill me. With my own eyes, woman, I seen him do it. Oh? Them dodgers, they outlawed the second strike. No. Them bums, they done it. And where was you? You mean they cut out strike two? Like the liver out of a pig. They ripped out strike two. When other teams balked, the Dodgers risked it. Good gosh almighty. And to think I missed it. Just be still, babe, and I'll put you wise. I'll tell you what I seen with my whammy eyes. But those your knees I hear knocking. And the Brooklyn babe shook it hip like Leo de Rocha's upper lip when he beefs back at umps and hacks. But shake or quake, she couldn't escape the single and the one-half whammy that came from the eyes of Brooklyn Sammy. Hold still, babe. Here it goes. I was at Ebbets Field at my post in the bleachers, investigating for un-Brooklyn activities. I'm sitting in the crowd, unseen, invisible, watching the fans root for the boys like only Dodger fans can do. And what a show. I know, I know. Well do I know. It was a sight to see when the yump called them right. You could hear them about ten miles from the gate when a ball was called that missed the plate. Ball two! When he was right, we give the ump his due. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But when the ump called it wrong... Strike three! We had another song. Oh, seeing eye dog. Kill the eye. Where's my fist? The 
somebody go over and get my pistol. Please get my pistol. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Pleasant and gentle. True Brooklyn activities going on as usual. And then it happens. It starts when this new Dodger comes to the plate. The next batter for Brooklyn will be first baseman Jackie Robinson. There was umpires, umpires everywhere. And the pitcher hadn't thrown a ball. But when this Robinson ups to the plate, some ghostly umpire calls. <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear him? Yeah, I heard it. But you didn't say nothing. You was quiet, like the bleachers was. He was an empire calling two strikes on a man before he gets the bat. And the bleachers was quiet like that. Then my second sense starts operating. I put my whammy in action. Please don't put it on me. Be still, babe. I put it on Jackie Robinson. I give him the double reverse flashback whammy. So I could see where the second strike comes from. I tie my nerves and my muscles together and threw my double whammy, not my triple, mind you, just my double whammy. And what do you know? I'm in some foreign country, Chicago, seeing this guy Jackie Robinson in the year 1943. And some citizens is out practicing baseball. Foreigners sure imitate us Brooklyners, don't they? Yeah. Well, there I am in 1943 in Comiskey Park. And this Jackie Robinson's working out with his team, the Kansas City Monarchs. I'm looking around. And guess who I see standing there? I ain't got the slightest idea. Two of the scouts from our own beautiful bums. Clyde Souk, Fort, and Taylor, and they're watching Robinson working out. And every time Robinson gets near the plate, I hear this up call. And I hear the scouts talking. Sure, Robinson's got two strikes on him before he steps up to the plate. Any colored player who tries to crash the major leagues got two strikes on him. That don't cut no ice. Yeah, that's what they tell me, Taylor. So make up your mind, Clyde. You've been watching Robinson a week. You've seen his history, didn't you? This guy's been football, track, and basketball champ at UCLA. I read about it. You clocked his speed. You saw him steal second right off the field. I ain't seen him hit a good one yet. Keep watching him. He's up to bat now. Watch him. Watch this. There. It's gone. Going over the wall. What'd I tell you? A and watch him fail over those bases. Look at him go. How about it, Clyde? Is he good? He's good all right, Taylor. But will he go for the deal? That's the question. You never know until you put it to him straight. Okay. Okay. Hey, Robinson, will you come over here a minute? He's the one, Clyde. I'm telling you. What are you talking about? Well, it's about a proposition we want to put to you. We're scouting for the Dodgers. Uh, yeah, so I've been told. And you look good. And that ain't all. Well, you see, we know Negro players have been frozen out of the major league. But we want a man who can crack the ice. Once it's cracked, it'll stay cracked. Besides, the guy who does it will be on the Brooklyn team. I see. Is that the deal? Part of it. Huh? If Rick is the boss, he'll tell you the other part if you're interested. Now, this is kind of sudden, but... No. No, not so sudden. I've been thinking about it a long time. Yeah, but oh, why'd you guys pick me? Now, you look like the kind of player who could get a hit even if you do start out with two strikes on you. That's when my double whammy started showing me where them two strikes come from. I see the scouts carry Robinson in to see Brooklyn's president, Branch Ricky. Ricky puts a cigar stub in the corner of his mouth. He squints his eyes, and he examines Robinson like a pawnbroker looking over a gold watch. And he gives him the acid test. What do you think of Brooklyn, Robinson? I've got nothing against him. What do you think of Jim Crow? I'd like to not... Okay, to... I know what you mean. That's part of the proposition. Maybe you'll make it, maybe you won't. I never seen you play. My scouts say you're okay. But for this, we need a cool, quiet sort of fellow. One who can keep out of trouble and not let Ryzen get him. 
You know what I mean? You mean you want a guy who won't fight back when he's shoved around? If he knows anything about baseball... I know baseball, mister. It's a hard, aggressive game. But you can't swing hard on your knee. You gotta stand up and fight. That's the way I look at it. I'm sorry if I'm not your man. Who said you were not the man? Well, I thought you wanted... Maybe I thought that, too. You look different. Maybe you're right. It's going to be a long, hard pull. It'll take a fighter to make it. You'll start out on the bottom on a farm team, Montreal. They train down in Sanford, Florida. Pride will take you down. Throw the ball around, limber up, meet the townspeople. Shucks, can't tell. They may welcome you with open arms. You can never tell about fans. You can never tell. Act two. That's what Ricky said. But Daddy Ump was still calling him strikes even before Jackie got into a uniform. So I wanted to see how he was making out. So I called up my triple whammy. Ooh, not the triple whammy. Not that. Yeah, babe, my triple whammy. So I could kind of look into the past and see what kind of welcome the townspeople in Sanford was giving him. I screwed my nerves, squinted my eyes, and threw my triple whammy. <laughs> And I say, good folks of Sanford, we should welcome this Negro baseball player in the traditional way. Teach him to respect our customs and laws. I ask him, yeah, you tell him to go. Go. Yeah. It's those carpetbag organizations like Brooklyn that sends him down here. That's, that's, it. that's what I say. It's right. those communist front organizations yeah. like to know. That's yeah. that's 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 know. Man. Are we going to let him saw the lily white name of our fair city? No! no I said no! No, boys, no we Then run that. this Jackie Robinson out of town. Let's protect the fair name of baseball from an American invader. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you better, boy. Well, I could see right off the welcome was going to be hot. I looked through the fence at a practice park where Robinson was hitting the ball about until the coach, he calls him over. Coach was worried. Say, Jackie. Uh, yeah? Jackie, the uh, chief wants you to pack your things. We're moving to the next town. The team just got here. Well, they're staying. They'll be along later. How soon can we get packed? Half hour if it's urgent. But... It's urgent, all right. I'll be waiting in the car. And there was Jackie going off the field he just got on, getting in the car and riding past the men on the corner. <laughs> and it looked like they was waving at him. <laughs> Say, these guys got to know me already. Now, look at there. They're waving at me. Yeah, they're waving at you, all right. Hey, let me roll down the window. I'll wave back. Keep the window up and sit back in the car. What's wrong with answering a friendly wave? A friendly wave? That's the town's white supremacy committee. They won't let Negro players stay here overnight, and they're getting their mob together. That's why we're leaving. We'll try the next town. Yump was still calling him wrong. But this Robinson ain't easy to strike out. That ghostly umpire kept calling two strikes. But this Robinson usually got a hold of the third one. Like that time in Florida. Oh, and he hit that long line drive in the center field. It's gone, gone. It smacks against the center field wall. Robinson's rounding first, second. He's crossing third. He's going to try to stretch it to a homer. He's coming to a home. Here comes the throw. Robinson slides across the plate. Looks like he's safe. Safe! Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. No. Oh, it is a man out there in a blue uniform. From another team, I guess. He's picking Jackie up out of the dust. Hey, maybe he ain't safe. Because I hear him saying... Now, get up and get out of here. You hear me? Hey, he's safe. Now, he ain't safe if he don't get out of this park. Get your hands off me. You're not the umpire. No, I'm the law. The law says you don't play here. Hey, what's the matter, officer? He didn't do nothing wrong. You've been told before, we're telling you again. Negro and whites playing on the same field in this state's punishable by law. Now, is he getting or am I using my stick? Robbie, sit over there on the bench while I straighten this out. No, he won't sit there either. Now, what are you talking about? The law says whites and Negroes can't sit together, team or no team. 
Yeah, get out of here. You oh, get yeah. your no, hands off him. Of yeah, take on. your hands off him, you lug. Yeah, he's on the team and he stays on the team. Now, let That's him go. Right. Come on. What's the matter with you? Hey, hold Come it. On. Hold it. Hold it, boys. Go back to your benches this time. We're moving to another town. Team stays the same. How long are we going to... When you guys all get together the way you're doing now and backing up your teammate, the days of these lugs who prop up these phony laws are numbered. Tell them to call the game. We'll move on. Strike two. That ump was still calling him, but still hadn't struck this Robinson yet. Like the time he and the coach went to the stadium in Jacksonville, and they found a guard jiggling the keys. Hey, open the door, mister. We'll be late for the game. There ain't gonna be no game, fellas. Who says so? These keys say so. The mayor's orders. Hmm, is this that Robinson, fella? I'm Robinson. Just wanted to take a look at you. The Bureau of Recreation won't let the game be played because you're on the team. Yeah, no use looking inside. Hey, look. Take a look, coach. It's full of people. Well, well, well. Yeah, they didn't know we'd call off the game. Hey, what you guys smiling at? There's an overflow crowd. It means that it's the politicians who are against us, not the people. What's the difference? This will make quite a bit of difference, buddy. Quite a bit. And the more they played, the more the difference began to count. People kept pouring into the parks. And Robinson was hitting them steady, playing the infield like Eddie Collins used to. He was fighting so hard to fill that gap in the Dodger lineup, he didn't know he was wearing his arm out. Throwing and catching and scooping him up too fast, too much, until a ball was hit his way to drop from his hand when he tried to throw it. Hey, hey, what you dropping for, Jackie? Pick it up, throw it. Get rid of the ball, get rid of the ball. But he can't throw it. He can't even lift it up. His arm swings around like it's out of socket. They take him off the field. The coach looks him over. Hey, let's see that arm. Oh, pretty bad. Hey, we're getting near the home stretch, and they'll be picking players for the Dodgers. You gotta make it. Now, take some days off, see if the armor heal. Rick will be down in a week and look you over. You got to get yourself back in the lineup before the season's over. I remember the bridge was beginning to go north. But this Robinson arm still hadn't healed. He couldn't throw from shortstop to first. And then Brooklyn's Ricky comes down and he takes him out on the field. What position are you trying out for, Jackie? Short stuff. But I can't get the ball over to first base anymore. If you were on first base, you wouldn't have very far to throw, would you? No, but I never played first base. Now, you're going to play it now. Give me that glove. A million buzzards are waiting for you to stumble. Now, watch. You play just far enough off the bag to keep both sides covered. But you've got to get that arm working. You've got it. Slowly, he gets the arm working again and pulls himself back into the lineup. Stretched out for the wild ones off first base, Ricky notices and says... Okay, Jackie. Hey, you're getting set. Yeah, this farm team's going to play a few games against the Dodgers. I think you can make it now? I feel pretty sure I can make it. Uh, one thing. Yeah? Well, I've been watching the catches. Yeah? And only a few of them can whip the ball down to second base faster than I can steal it. Yeah, what are you leading up to? Well, look. Let me run bases the way I want to. Let me steal all the bases I can. Well... Of course, I'll get caught sometimes. Ty Cobb got caught sometimes, didn't he? Okay, be smart and cagey, but don't be reckless. The record looks good by April. Yeah? Well, we'll see. And the season rolled around, and it came time for the reckoning. Ricky called his staff in. He got down right to the point. Clyde, Shotton, Taylor. Okay, how about it? You mean Robinson? Naturally, you guys been watching. Who hasn't? Okay, it's April. How's Robinson doing? Let's have it. Well, suppose we let the record talk, Chief. Let it talk. Well, for a man who's had two strikes on him before he gets to the plate, he's doing all right. In the International League, he's got the record for stolen bases. He's hitting at 360, and on runs batted in, he's ahead there, too. And will you take a look at these attendance records? Well, what do you think it means? I'm thinking it means people are sick and tired of race discrimination in sports. I think it means if a guy's good enough to stop a bullet on a battlefield, he's good enough to stop a line drive in Ebbetsfield. I'm thinking we ought to steal a march on the other teams. What do you mean, Chief? 
Let's move him up to the Dodgers now. He spark plugged the minor league. He can spark plug this one. We've got to win that pennant this year. Okay? Sure, Chief. But but what? But some of the major league boys say they'll strike against the Dodgers if Robinson's on the team. Some guys on our own team say they won't stick. Saying it's one thing, doing it's another. Sure, it might be a strike. But a guy who's beat the odds with two strikes against him won't be scared if another's called. Let him strike. It'll test the whole base of our baseball leagues. Brooklyn's ready. Uh, Miss Hill. Yes, Mr. Ricky. Put through that call to Jackie Robinson. Give him the message. Yes, sir. Hello. Robinson speaking. Mr. Ricky says, would you like to come down and sign your contract with the Dodgers? What? Will you say that again? I said, would you like to come down and sign your contract with the Dodgers? And the news got around, and it was the talk of the town. And on the subway, a brave Brooklynite would look over the shoulder of a brave Bronxite, and one was sure to say, I say, chum, when he is going to turn the page, I finish Dick Tracy. Oh, yes, sir. And just what page would pleasure you most? Cut the comedy and get to the sports. I want to see what the Dodgers done. Ain't you heard? Oh, I've been out of touch with things. Now look here on the front page. See what them bums gone and done? Son of a gun. They signed up Jackie Robinson. Ah, them crazy Dodgers. What's crazy about them? The Constitution of Brooklyn says every citizen's got the inalienable right to play baseball. Ah, this Jackie Robinson won't last two days in the major. Says you. Says me. Hey, what? Don't wave your finger in my face. Then get your finger out of my hey, face. Shut Take up. That's what you said about the bum. Oh, hey, you lie. You... That'll teach you to talk about the bum by the bit. Oh, stop sticking out of the fight. And the fighting went all over Flatbush and the Bronx. While Robinson kept running the bases and taking the resin and the cold shoulder, till in Pittsburgh, he runs smack into the warm shoulder of first baseman Hank Greenberg. And the two first basemen pick each other up, and the pirate said to the Dodger, <laughs> Say, how you doing, Jackie? Well, like Lincoln said, if it wasn't for the honor, I'd just as soon give it up. Ah, stick it out. Some gave me the business when I first made the majors. I beat the odds. I'm Jewish. Stick it out. Miss Robinson, he was sticking it out when the strike that was supposed to be strike three was thrown. One major league team had gotten together before a big game at Ebbets Field. The wind-up was in the making. And like I was saying, we got to stop this thing before we bring in them colored. We're not going on that field unless they fire Robinson. What do you guys say, huh? Well, I'm not standing for it. Baseball's done all right for years without colored in it. I say let's keep it that way. Right, Why don't we strike? Yeah, strike. Yeah, Why don't we strike? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Say, fellas, here comes the chief. Here's the league president. Uh, come on in, chief. We've been waiting to hear from you. You got our message? I did. Well, fellas, so there's going to be a baseball strike against another team's player. You're right. We're not going on the same field against Robinson. The team's decided. Team decided. And what do you think about the people, the fans out there? What have they decided? Let me tell you something. If you strike, you'll be striking not just against Robinson, but against them. And against them, you can't win. Hey, now hey, listen, wait, we've wait, already You decided. listen to me, all of you. We call our baseball world championship ball. The world's made up of more teams than one. More races than one. Baseball can't have pickpockets among its players. What you're about to do is to pick a player's pocket, rob him of a job. You can't win. Every fan in Flatbush is backing Robinson, and they're right. Brooklyn says there's not going to be any more guys starting out with two strikes against them. They're outlaw on that second strike. That's all I got to say, except think this thing over. What you decide to do will decide the history of baseball. The fans are way ahead of you. Think it over. The boys thought it over a long time. And then from where I'm sitting in the bleachers, I see them come out on the field and take their places. And then Jackie comes to bat again, and I hear this ump. Strike two. And the bleachers are still quiet. I see they haven't been told that strike two's outlawed. 
So I get ready to throw my quadruple whammy to awaken them. Good Lord. Not the quadruple. Sammy, not the quadruple. Yeah, babe. The quadruple whammy had to be thrown. So I screw myself up, look at the yump, and throw it. Then I listen to the yump, and he's correcting himself. Since he called it right, Brooklyn gave the ump his due. Yeah! Yeah! You got eyes like a blessed cat, ump. You got eyes like a blessed cat. I'm the best man on our team. Yeah! Oh, I love that ump. I wouldn't have a hair on that ump's head. I love that ump. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. The bums had outlawed that second strike. So you see, babe, we may have a tree or two growing in Brooklyn, but we won't have no bigger tree. We insist. Good gosh almighty. To think that's what I missed. I got a good notion to divorce Timothy Rogers and just be married to the Brooklyn Dodgers. Now go your way, babe. And if anybody asks, Who is Sammy the Whammy? Just tell him the same story that I just told to you. And the bride went off like one that's been stunned. And in the neon jungle, she felt forlorn. But the most hep and the wiser babe, she rose the morrow morn. You've just heard Destination Freedom's dramatization, The Rhyme of the Ancient Dodger, the story of Brooklyn's Jackie Robinson, brought to you by Station WMAQ. Destination Freedom is written by Richard Durham and produced under the direction of Homer Heck. The role of Jackie Robinson was played by Oscar Brown, Jr., The Ancient Dodger by Studs Terkel, Branch Rickey by Everett Clark, Clyde Soupforth by Tommy, uh, Tony Parrish. Others were Janice Kingslow, Ernie Andrews, and Jack Lester. The special music was arranged and composed by Emil Soderstrom and played by Elwin Owen and Bobby Christian. This is Hugh Downs inviting you to be with us again next week when Destination Freedom will bring you the dramatic story of Walter White, the man who could not deny his heritage.